Hey guys, Aaron here. I just picked up a really cool tool, the Durametric cable for the Porsche Boxster. Well, for most Porsches. I went in with a friend and uh, I'm gonna use one of the VINs on this one. It's not the pro version, so it only has three available VINs per cable. And this one supposedly has one left. So I'm going to attempt to show you how to install the software and use the Durametric tool. It's a very popular choice for DIYers with the Porsches where you can read codes and do a little bit of programming. So let's see how it works. This right here is the case that it comes in and it is a cable. You plug this into your OBD2 port and this USB end into your laptop. So the first thing is to install the software that this works with onto your laptop. All right, I apologize. I do not have any screen capture software for this old uh, Windows 7 computer. So I'm just gonna show you all the steps here and record it. So we're gonna start by going to durametric.com. So to install this software, you need Windows XP, Vista 7, 8, or 10. It does not work on Mac or other OSs. So once you're here, you go down and click on downloads. There's a quick start guide you can check out or just follow this tutorial. So scrolling down under the software section, we see this is currently on version 6565 as of this recording. So it is downloading that for me. All right, so once it's downloaded, I'm just gonna run it. And yes, allow it. And click finish and it will install the device drivers. All right, that should be it. It should be ready to use now. And at the end, you should have a nice Durametric 6 icon on your desktop. All right, now out at the car, if you do not know, if you look right under here, this purple plug is your OBD port. And this simply plugs straight into it like this. Now you'll know that this is version two because it says for use on Porsche, version one has different verbiage here and this is the power light. So once we plug it into the laptop, that should turn green. So I've just got the laptop sitting in the car here with me and it is a USB port on the side here. So I'm just gonna plug the cable in right here. And our green light is on as expected. So that's a good sign. Okay, so after our cable is in and our green light is on, we are gonna turn our ignition, not to just to the first one, but well, I already moved it all the way to the second one. If you have after a 2002, I believe, you have to turn the hazards on to keep your computer awake. Now we can just double click on our Durametric app and let it open up. Yes, give it permissions. And it will open up and ask you to choose your vehicles. So for me, I have a Porsche Boxster 986, 1998, and click OK. Now it's asking me some questions about the engine. That one's automatically detected. My ABS is from that year. My instrument cluster should be from that year. Click OK. Now, if you go up to tools and go to tool information, it will show you that this cable has a three vehicle limit because it is the Porsche enthusiast cable, not the professional one. And it's supposed to show me which VINs have already been used, but it's not showing anything right now. I know my buddy has already used it a couple days ago, so there should be at least one VIN taken up and he believes that there's two VINs already taken up. So that's interesting. So I'm gonna to go to the engine module now, expand that and go to fault codes and let it read the system and see if there are any fault codes. So there are actually, I have a P1602 supply voltage open circuit. So we'll have to uh, do some research on that, but it's pretty cool that you can go through all of the modules and let it read your fault codes. You can clear the fault codes. Okay, so that system is happy. There's nothing wrong there. 
So we'll check with the airbag. This is a common one. If there are an airbag light on, you can uh, reset that from here. All right, we got supply voltage again. Fault code three, that's an interesting one. Check the air conditioning, nothing wrong there. Our alarm. So I'll click on the information about my engine module and it will give me all of this cool information. Uh, you can click on actual values and my car's not running right now, but you can actually uh, read current values and do some cool stuff with that. I click on identification, it tells me about my engine. And then under activations, this is where uh, this tool is more than just a fault code reader. You can actually start and stop uh, fans, AC compressor, all of this stuff directly from the tool. So if you are troubleshooting something or just replace something, you want to test it, see if it's faulty, you can do that from right here. So this is uh, where this tool becomes really handy. So I'm just going to click on start for engine fan one. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the engine fan just turned on. So that is pretty cool. And let me stop it now. And it just wound down and stopped. So very good tool for the DIY enthusiast. Yeah, just really quick overview on the tool, how to get it installed and up and running. Hopefully you found the video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I got a ton of more Boxster content.